Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to review the beautiful Page Mini Carryall. Carryall? Carryall. Page Mini by Hat Brands. And I'm going to tell you, this bag is beautiful, beautiful design. This is the front. This is the back. It has a nice little magnetic closure back here. The front has a zip here. You could put basically your whole hand in there. Opens up nice and wide. You got two pouches in there and then a little slip pocket. Beautiful, beautiful bag. However, I just have to say, this is not the bag for me. A little bit about me, I'm a mom of two. I have a three and a half year old and a two year old. My three and a half year old is potty trained. All my potty trained moms, do you know how hard it is to find a simple compact bag that you don't feel like you have, you know, you could stuff as much as you want and you don't feel like, <laughs> it's like this, this like fat chunk of a bag, heavy bag that you're carrying around because you got that fold up potty seat, right? Well. This is why I thought a crossbody bag would be for me. Specifically this bag. I saw a few videos on YouTube. It really convinced me that it was bigger than it was. However, it's not. I am going to show you right now how my other bag that I'm currently using, trying to transfer everything into this is just not doable. Now I have to say, I think I mentioned this before, the quality is beautiful. This bag is beautiful. However, I feel 10 out of 10, it is not a diaper bag. It is just not a diaper bag. Maybe if you have a newborn, or maybe if you have just one child that's like maybe potty trained, maybe still in diapers, because you could just throw like some snacks and like a diaper and like the bare minimum of this bag. And I'm gonna tell you the bare minimum for me as a mom of two toddlers, on the go, going to the park, getting out, having fun, needing to do two water bottles, tons of snacks, a fold up potty seat, a diaper just in case for my son. This just didn't do it for me. It's gorgeous and I hate to see it go because it is, it's so beautiful. However, it's just not for me. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna pack it from this bag. This is the freshly picked, um, you know what? I don't know the name of this one. I'm gonna put a picture but this is my go-to everyday bag. And I'm gonna take everything out of here and see as much as I can pack into here because I've been doing this for two days. I've been so on the fence. I really wanted this bag to work and I'm just really frustrated that it's not and I just don't, I don't want the bigger version of this. The whole point was to kind of downsize. So this is, I guess, the size comparison of the two. Now let's blow your mind and see how, can't really pack as much as you think. So first and foremost, two waters. So these are the Thermos Funtainer. 10 out of 10, recommend for your kids. It keeps the water cold. And I'm gonna tell you there's only four pieces to clean. You have the outside, you have this top piece that comes off, and then you have the top and then the straw. So this is super easy to clean. So we're gonna put that in the little pouches inside, okay? So let's see. This is, this is real what I have in there. Okay, so we got that. Next up. Need the potty seat. This is a fold up potty seat for my daughter who's potty trained. All you potty trained moms know, this is what you need on the go. This is a little princess one, folds up. And then I got these bags on Amazon. Um, these are those like zip pouches that everyone raves about. I don't know. I'll put it down below. They're cool, they're good. But if you get this pack, the blue one, whatever the blue one, whatever size this is, fits the seat. So. This is my dilemma. Where do I put the seat? Because I get really skeeved out, <laughs> really yucked of putting the seat where their water is, where their snacks are gonna be. So there's this magnetic closure on the back and I thought that would work great, right? Who cares? <laughs> okay, fit it in there, right? So don't care, it looks a little inconspicuous kind of, right? Okay, so. We got that there, and then I feel like that's on the outside. If I'm wearing it as a crossbody, it's easy to just grab the potty stuff and not have to touch inside the bag where their snacks and their water and all like the clean, clean stuff should be. So now with that being said, you also need one of these disposable potty seat liners because you know, potty. So I'm gonna stick that on the outside, okay? I need my little on-the-go Lysol. Do you see that? The cans used to be, uh, Cans used to be so much skinnier. They used to be these skinny little ones. I don't know why I got this fat little one, but I want a skinny one, so here we go. Now it's getting a little bulky, right? Now it's gonna stick out. Also need a hand sanitizer. Whatever one, just to have, you know, an extra one. I like this one because I could just spray it really fast. Okay, so now, now we're kind of sticking out a little bulky, right? So now I got nothing else packed, just water and that. 
But let's not forget, my son is not potty trained, so I need a diaper for him on the go and a little changing mat. I'm just gonna stick that in because that's super clean and it's just a clean diaper, so I feel comfortable just sticking that right in. We're gonna stick it on this side so that we still have this pocket. Okay, little trash bags, just stick that anywhere in the bag, doesn't matter. And then these, because potty training, you need to post it. If it's automatic flusher in the um, restroom, you gotta cover it up because the kids get scared. All right, so that's good. Next up, it's gonna fill up real fast. Notice how I'm not even putting my wallet, my ID, everything on the outside, because this, this, that's nothing. Next up, we have a change of clothes for each child. We have, we're in winter, so I have a long sleeve shirt, pants, socks, underwear for my daughter, long sleeve shirt, pants, and socks for my son, because I dress them head to toe, so change of clothes for each of them in this little Ziploc bag. Well, big Ziploc bag that I suck the air out and we're gonna see where we can stick it, okay? We're gonna see, so we're just gonna shove it right in there, right? Okay, so there we go. It's getting a little bulky, getting a little bulky. Okay, next up, bare minimum. We're gonna do the bare minimum, okay. Not even gonna worry about my son's little blankie in case he needs a nap on the go. I'm not even gonna worry about little med kit that I have. This is another of those zip pouches that from Amazon, I just have like band-aids, some Neosporin, a nail clipper, um, Advil for me, cause Lord knows two toddlers, woof. But I'm gonna stick that, I'm gonna, I don't, we're gonna, we're gonna, I don't even know. We're gonna just stick that on the outside, okay? Cause that, that kinda is necessity. So we're gonna, we're gonna shove that, shove that down in there, okay? Next up, wipes, right? You need the wipes when you're out with two toddlers. We're gonna put, now this isn't even, look, 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 it's not even that thick, right? It's not even that thick, but I need them. We're gonna stick that in here. Okay. Ugh. So, this is what we got going on. And then I guess I could fit some snacks here. But wait, now I gotta close it. Now, I gotta, I gotta zip that closed. And I don't wanna break this bag because it's going back. It didn't even fit the snack. It didn't even put the, uh, didn't even put the snacks in yet. Okay. So this is with no snacks. This thing is kind of heavy now. This thing feels really heavy. So this is the bulkiness that's gonna be now attached to my hip as a crossbody. And I don't feel like that's really that prettier hot mama type. Like, I, I don't feel too wow as a mom with this. I don't know. And I didn't even put my wallet in really just my wallet. What do I need, wallet? Put that, I mean, that's that's nothing to go in there anyways. But I just, it really bothers me because I wanna love this so much. It's so beautiful, but this is really heavy then to just put on one shoulder. I'm gonna tell you my best advice as a mom is get that backpack. It might bother you. You might think you want this cute, crossbody something. I think that's good when you're just like a quick errand on the go, but my kids constantly need water and snacks. Water, snacks, and then the diaper and potty training needs. Like that's that's a non-negotiable. So I don't know, it's bittersweet, but not the bag for me. Um, I just don't think that this is really beautiful to just be on display. And like I said, I don't want it on the inside. Anyways, this bag, this bag is still still holding strong for me. I think this is the classic city pack or something. I don't know, I'll put a picture. Um, what I don't love about this one though is I wish I had the feet. The other freshly picked one I have, it has the feet. Also this would be so beautiful if it had the feet at the bottom so that when you put it down and you're doing your mom thing and you're taking care of business, um, you had that. But all in all, I think it's a beautiful bag. Listen, I just hope that this video helps you all see how to pack it because it just didn't work for me, but I feel it's beautiful and I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.